Hi, beautiful. You look, whoa, you. <sighs> come here, come close. Come close, come, come here. You look beautiful, I mean that. Yes, you don't do that. Thank you for, for joining me today. I really appreciate it. We're watching some butterfly cuts and we're gonna fly away like a butterfly together. And I'm sure a lot of people are gonna do them completely wrong because that is always what happens. And you know the tea. But first I wanna thank Care Of for collaborating with me on this video. You know, I love Care Of. They've been in so many videos and we've had such a great partnership over the years and you guys also really enjoy their products. And if you don't already know what Care Of is, well, I'm here to explain it to you. Care Of is a subscription service that ships high quality personalized vitamins, supplements, and powder to your door every month. And if you're like, well, I don't know what supplements and vitamins I need, Care Of's quiz takes all the guesswork out of building your routine. The quiz asks you general questions about your diet, lifestyle, and health goals. Then it recommends the right vitamins and supplements for your specific needs and goals. A big goal of mine this year is to get so damn physically fit, like look divine, like a little fucking snack doodle. Obviously, I need the right supplements in order to do that to keep myself healthy and energized while going through that process. So my cute little pack here obviously has vitamins in it that will help with that. It'll make me strong, it'll make me energized, it'll make me feel good throughout the day. I do Pilates and listen, you need a lot of energy for that. Whew. It takes a lot of mental strength to get through an hour long class four or five times a week. In my pack, there is B-complex, which helps with energy and magnesium for bone and muscle health. And these packs are made with plant-based film, which makes them compostable. I personally trust Care Of because they use clean ingredients that are backed by science. They deliver the vitamins right to my house and I don't have to buy a bunch of different packs of vitamins and then make my own concoction with it. It's all like already in this compostable pack, which makes everything really easy for me. And they have a new product. It's called Gut Must. This is their latest line of versatile formulas that level up your existing routine to manage bloating, gas, and digestion and weight. Take care of's quiz and see what vitamins and supplements they recommend for you. Click on the link below and use my code BRABMONDO for 50% off your first order with care of. Thank you. Up first, we have everybody by Alicia Monac. Here's my laptop with the Brat Mondo Butterfly Cut tutorial. <laughs> we are following my tutorial. We're going in there and it's gonna be great. She's gonna do it. I'm trying to give myself a face framing layers. I don't like how flat my hair is because it's already long. Oh, I think she would look so good with a butterfly cut. Her hair is full. She has a good amount of hair. You know, it's not like, it's not like, Whoa. It's not like pounds and pounds and jabound. It's not like pounds of hair. It's like a good one pounder of hair. <laughs> I'm trying to entertain myself today. Um, wow, what is this? A magnet? No, it's battery. Hmm. Maybe a little more of this and then maybe the sentence will come out. Ah, yes. And if she adds some layering in there, it's gonna like pop and lock. And what else? Drop. And it's gonna look great. How much I cut it? I'm really scared. She got the Ariana Grande pony in the back, which is always what we want. And she pulled all the hair to the front without a bunch of bumps and lumps. And her hair is very pin straight. I would have recommended, I'm pretty sure I always recommend in my videos. I hope so, Brad. Do you, you recommend everybody wets their hair before they do these cuts, right? Yes, I thought so. So she didn't follow that direction. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, how much I'm supposed to cut. The thing is that people often don't cut a lot and then they don't see any results. And that's not what I want for you. Like I honestly, I would love for you to cut a lot and get good results. I don't even know what kind of haircut I want. But she's using hair cutting scissors. Yeah, A plus, plus, plus. I'm doing, oh my God, I'm doing. That's actually so much not enough. It looks like you got air cutting scissors, but you're supposed to get hair cutting scissors. <laughs> that was a little funny. Come on. <laughs> it doesn't cut. This is not working. Cause that shit's only cutting air, not hair. Okay. I, I did it. It's not gonna look bad, right? Am I supposed to do this this little thing right here? Nari. I don't know who told her we did point cut, but it wasn't me or my tutorial. God. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I'm gonna cut just this because I'm scared. Girl. This is gonna be like one of those really boring ones where they just don't cut anything off because I'm just not interested. I don't wanna watch it if it's not a lot of hair being cut. How much I cut? <gasps> it was a half an inch. I'm already 
regretting my decisions. We also gotta cut the same amount off the back as we do on the front, okay? Oh my god, she's still cutting. <laughs> I need to see something happen today. Come on. I think I was supposed to cut a little bit more. Yes! So what are we gonna do about it? Are we gonna cut more? Are we gonna like chicken out? Are we gonna do actually do the haircut? Because this, this isn't gonna make any difference. Okay, there's a lot of hair. I need to brush my hair first. I'm not seeing much difference here. Do more. You should always cut off at least four inches or else there's gonna be nothing to look at. I want to cut a little bit more. I think this time I'm gonna cut cut a little bit shorter like this amount of hair yes see now we're doing something now you have my interest Ooh, those scissors hurt my ears it's like like oh ouch <laughs> it's a lot of hair Remember you guys, you are cutting layers. Maybe you're cutting a little bit of your length, but you can really take a lot off of your layers like that much and still not affect your length sometimes. So yes, it looks like you're cutting a lot off, but it is not what really matters, which is your length. This is the part where we all wanna always have is the lengthy poo. Should I cut a little bit more? Hell yeah, keep going. I think this amount of hair, it's enough. As I say, I don't want to lose the length of my hair. I just want to have a little different cut. Okay, now she's good. She's cutting the same amount at the back. We're making our way around. The way she's cutting down like this, <laughs> it's like, makes me very nervous. <sighs> Let's just go across and not slant it down, you know? <gasps> Look the amount that I just cut it. <gasps> Oh my god, so much hair. I, I think it's enough. Let's see the results. Let's check it. It's always good to check what you've done and then go back and do more. <gasps> it looks bad. I need to style first to see what I just did, but it looks very... It looks great. You need to restyle your hair though. When you straighten your hair and you cut it, it's always gonna look weird and crazy. You have to like then wash it. This is why I recommend cutting in a wet hair because it's just like makes more sense that way. It's not gonna look appropriate right now. I'm gonna try to cut to make a little bit softer. Use some thinning shears. This will really speed up the process instead of like trying to point cut it with like dull air scissors. <laughs> Take out more hair at a time and it'll make it so much softer. Okay, to see better the results, I'm gonna style my hair with a flat iron. That was a huge glow up. That was the best decision of my life. Look at my hair with the layers. Oh my god, it looks so pretty. And she got a beautiful haircut. It looks so good. Thank God this haircut is like foolproof mostly. This feels good. Oh. Oh. Oh, I needed this straight. You slayed the day away. Congratulations. You win. Great job. And next time, oh, wait, just, you know, go in for the, from the jump with a lot of hair. Cut it off. Up next, we have a video by Recreated. We're about to do something very drastic. I want to try this wolf cut. I'm already have I got the wolf look going right now. In my roots, I've grown out. Yes, you do got the wolf look going right now. I love it though. It's a vibe. It is like, it's like a firework on your head. So that's why it looks extra boxy up here. She could definitely, definitely benefit from some layering. It is heavy. You know, you see how it's like boxy. It goes like this, like this, and like this. That's because there's nothing in between to round out that hair and she needs that. But I want to try this wolf cut out, love. Oh my God, I can't wait to see those dead ends just drop to the ground, to the floor and just lay there. Like a little dead end. It's gonna be so good for her. Like, look at all those ends that are just like. I wish I was there to cut this. I don't know why. It just like I can see that like puff ball of hair. I just wanna like. Like, how satisfying would that be? This is as much as I can get. She went from ear to ear, all the way around the back, and she pulled that hair nice and taut forward with no bumps. Perfect. But she failed to wet her hair before she does this cut. 
cut. Ah, I suppose it would be better for her to cut it on straight hair if she wears her hair mostly straight rather than curly. Yeah, I'm about to really chop my hair off. That's half of the ponytail. Oh, did you see those ends? They were like. That's what I imagine they would be saying if they could speak and she's about to go. Let's do it. Let's freaking do it, girl. Yeah, except not enough hair. Add more hair and cut more. It's like on one hand, I want you guys to start off small, you know, work your way up. On the other hand, I just want to see a fun result really quickly. I'm going to like point cut. Like, um, this not bad. Don't point cut it. Just cut it straight across. You're gonna get like lines going like this if you don't point cut correctly. And that's what it looks like it's going on. And also, I couldn't even see the cut. The best part was blocked by the, the view of the camera. Okay, so I didn't cut like straight across, but I like cut like this. All right, at that point, just cut straight across. <laughs> it's like, um, so that is a no-go. Oh my god. Don't tell me you're gonna leave that one little hair out like that. What is that hair? Everybody's point cutting so vertically into the hair that it's not even taking any hair out. You know, like if you're gonna point cut and you want it to make a difference, you gotta have a little bit of angle to your scissors to take out a little bit of that hair in between. If you go like this, you're gonna take out one strand at a time and only like hair cutting pros know how to do that quick enough to actually make a difference. It seems a little blunt still. Let's do the ponytail in half. About right here. We actually did take the hair a little bit too far in the back towards the front. Like, we should section the hair from the apex of the head. This is the tallest point of the head. Her hair was taken from like all the way back here forward. And um, we don't want that because we want a lot of layering in the back. So you get all that volume. If you take the crown hair forward, it's going to give you the least amount of volume and texture at that crown area. So make sure you don't take it that far back. Oops, he said pull it to the front. <laughs> She's talking about me. He said pull it to the front. <laughs> um, I did. Who's demoing me right now? I don't want to pay anything. And also your fingers are again like this. Straight. We gotta go straight. A little bit. Well, I cut more than half anyways. Why are we cutting like this? It needs to be like this. This is so stressful. Point, 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 point. Uh-oh, point, point. Point, point, point. I was gonna say, is she not seeing this? But obviously not. She's not seeing the fact that it is completely diagonal, the line she's cutting. All right, so I know the hair isn't gonna look completely awesome tonight, but I feel like something has happened already. I'm just gonna brush it down and then try to feather it back so you guys can see. Okay, it doesn't look bad. Definitely dry. It's really freaking dry. Okay, it's definitely pretty. She has a lot more movement, but like, she's gotta do more. And she she's going to. There's still time left in this video. I'm gonna just like do halfway down the ponytail. So I'm gonna cut about that much off. That looks so much better this time. The sectioning is so much better. Yeah, we're still cutting the hair completely crooked. This is definitely a first. I've never seen anybody cut something quite this crooked before. It's like she's pulling the hair up and then she goes like this. Next time, just please cut it straight. I mean, it's okay. I'm gonna blow myself up, get some type of a uh, shape going on so y'all can actually see it. Hey guys, so this is what it's looking like. You know, every look comes together with a BJ. And it did what it was supposed to do. <laughs> it's not enough. I feel like I got a lot more hair. I feel like I might have cut a little bit more over on this side. But then when I'm looking at this side, this side looks better when it's like straight. But I love it. Those results look so good on her. Her hair looks so much more full of life, body, movement. It's so much better. Oh, she looks amazing. And with the curls, with the with the layering, with the texture and her personality and her makeup, it all came together. Really, really, really good. Congrats. You look amazing. Up next, we have a video by Purple Potion. I am so tired of my hair. Okay, it looks cool. I want layers. Oh. She's so right. Like, she needs layers. Layers are the cure to sadness and depression. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna like become a therapist and just prescribe layers to people because it really does help with everything. I saw this butterfly cut. A falling Brad Mondo, he said to put the comb on top of your head and find a high point, aka apex. So I just take it and it's going to go down to behind the ears. Her hair's wet. She followed the tutorial with the apex. We're on to something good. Don't come for me if it's not perfect because I use glasses normally. Oh, great. So we're gonna cut blind. Basically. Awesome! The thing is, he takes the ponytail hair, but I have some experience cutting hair. I'm a wig maker professional. You're a wig maker? Teach me. I love wigs. He said, ponte straight hair. I know better. I will just drag and take one line of a designer cut, then cut the other one to follow the line. For sure, you can totally do it like that. I honestly think just putting in a ponytail gives you pretty much the same exact effect and it's much easier. You can take the hard path too if you want. I have a um, bang that is almost grown out. I will cut a little bit and I will just drag it straight out like this. We chose the point cut again. I think the point cut is like the safe space for people, right? It's like, I cutting straight across feels like a lot more than doing a little pointing, so. But let's retire the point cut for, for at-home tutorials. It never comes out great like that. You know, she's definitely doing a good technique and it's solid what she's doing, but just let's retire the point cut. I wanted to do not be perfect. I wanted to be more uh, rockers butterfly cut. So she made a guide and now she's following the guide for the entire front of her head. Just do it. She's getting that layering in the front, that rounded look that we all love to see. We're getting through it. I wish you just put in a ponytail and just cut it, but it's okay. I can't control everything, even though I'm a control freak. Ooh, that's cool, man. Ahaha, <laughs> that is cool, man. Ooh, we're taking more off. Yeah. This is hella cute. Next step, pull everything and go. And that's way too much hair, Marianne, but okay, I'm doing it. Look at this dude. Already oh, look cool, man. She just went from like cool to really cool very quickly. Look at this hair, yo. I cut a lot of hair off and it looks like I have even more hair, but it feels lighter. I have not styled it actually. I just put some volumizing powder at the root and my hair just laid like this naturally. She was talking about how now her hair kind of just lays in the place that it's supposed to. And if you do a good cut on yourself or you go get a good cut, your hair should lay in the perfect spot without you doing too much. Mm. Mm. Ooh, feel myself. Ooh. <laughs> That's the finished look, and I'm rocking it, I think. Oh, she looks so great. The haircut with the color, the look. I love when you guys pull it all together and just make like an entire moment out of your haircut or your hair color. It makes me so excited. The important part is that I feel good. I don't care about what else think of my hair right now, because, oh, I feel hot. That's exactly true. It only matters how you feel about yourself, Um, but I love it also that means anything. I love to see all the butterfly cuts being slayed around the world. It is so exciting and great job, you guys. If you wanna check out my hair care line or my hair color line, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmondohair.com. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.